Hey everybody, it's Eunice and as you can see from the title of the video, today I'm going to do a review on the Fanny Beauty Foundation by Rihanna. So I did purchase it two weeks ago as in the full size bottle but then I used it for like two days and then my skin just started like started having like dry patches everywhere. Well, somewhere in this area and I just I was just like yeah, I'm done with this. I'm going to return it, but then I forgot to do a review on it. So what I did instead is I initially thought that maybe my skin was having a bad week lang nung week na yon. I was super caught up in school and um and sobrang I lacked sleep that week. So I thought, hey, maybe it was my skin, not the foundation. But then I ended up returning it and getting something else, a different foundation that worked better for my skin. But then I was like, oh, forgot to make a review. So I didn't want to purchase it again just for the sake of filming a review so what I did was I just got the sample because if ever na this one maging okay sa skin ko kasi nga mas well rested yung skin ko ngayon then I'll go ahead and purchase the full size kasi medyo hassle din naman mag return well thank god na I can return stuff here if it doesn't work out for my skin I only returned that because yun nga nagka dry patches ako but then if I use this sample tapos hindi siya naging okay yung skin ko. I'll go ahead, go back and purchase it because I initially loved it until the end of the day. So to be fair, I used sunblock on this side of my face and here on this side moisturizer lang. While the moisturizer is setting on my face, setting on my face, um, I'll go ahead and read the description on the Sephora website kasi nga wala sa yung box. Here it is. Pulled it up. So, Fendi Beauty by Rihanna Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. So, the claims are, so it has medium coverage, it's good for a sensitive skin type, normal, dry, combination, and oily. So, it's, initially, it's supposed to be good for every skin type. It's universal. But, yeah, we'll find out today if that's true. Because I have dry skin right now, now that fall is coming in, mas chillier na outside. So, hindi na nag-oily yung T-zone ko. As in, dry na yung whole face ko. It's a soft matte longwear foundation with buildable medium to full coverage in a boundary-breaking range of shades. Because it has 40 shades. I mean, I know yung makeup forever of medyo 40 shades. So, it's the ultimate photo filter in foundation form. Born in 40 boundary-breaking shades. Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation gives skin an instantly smooth, pore-diffused, shine-free finish that easily builds to medium to full coverage. Oil-free formula made with climate-adaptive technology that's resistant to sweat and humidity. Won't clog pores so that wherever you are, it's going to be, it's going to work on your skin. And its long-wearing, lightest air texture is undetectable on skin, so you always look like you. I'll be using my all-time favorite. Primer, so it's a NYX Angel Veil Primer. Hindi ko pa siya ubos ilang months na. Okay, so apart from the Fenty Beauty Foundation, all the other stuff that I'm using, I've already tried and tested them. As in yung all-time favorites ko na siya. I know how they work on my skin. So if anything goes wrong, I know na it's because of the foundation. So yeah, first we'll prime my face. Kasi kailangan nun talaga lagi nagpa-primer. Hey, squirrel! Squirrel! I'll be using the beauty blender on this side of my face. Medyo madumi na siya. I'm so sorry. And then I'll be using my um, my Sigma Duo Fiber F50 brush on this side. Let's start with the beauty blender. Medyo struggle na sample yung gamit ko. So I remember when I got this, it came with a pump. So ayan yung foundation. It's a bit runny, as you can see, for a matte finish. Okay. Oh, and I am in the shade 290. It's easy to blend, as in, pagkalagay ka sa skin, tapos itadab ko lang siya ng beauty blender. Ayan. Nagko cover na kaagad siya. So, brang dali niya i blend. And indeed, it is lightweight. As in, I can see the coverage na kaagad, pero. Wala pa rin ako na feel na weight sa skin ko. I mean sa face ko. Let's add a little more for coverage. As in, feeling ko ito yung amount ng isang pump. 
if I remember correctly. It really has good coverage. As in, isang layer pa lang to ng foundation. If this turns out well, oh my gosh, mababili na naman ako ng foundation. Kasi gusto ko talaga yung coverage niya. It's just that, nung time na yun talaga, sobrang sama nung skin ko. Kaya, napasoli ako. Kasi akala ko, I assumed na it was because of this foundation. Kasi, sa buong makeup routine ko nung week na yun, ito lang yung bago. So, that's one full coverage. Yan, yung difference niya. So now, I'll use the brush on this side. It blends well with the Beauty Blender, but when I got color match, um, when I got color match, I think I used sponge din yata. But just for the sake of this video, we'll try it with a brush as well. Oh, and I just, I recently just got this brush as well. And I so far, I'm, I super love the Sigma brushes that I got. I just got two brushes. And sobrang soft niya. Ang dali lang din niya i-blend. Ayan o. Oh. Yun yung super gusto ko sa foundation na to. Ang dali niyang i-blend. As in, kakalagay ko lang. Tapos onting pat, pat lang na ganyan. Blended na siya. Again, super lightweight. So this is what the one layer of foundation looks like. And now I'm just gonna build some coverage on the areas where I have imperfections. So like this scar right here. So when I try out foundation, I try my best not to use concealer because it eh. So I'll, I'll just use my beauty blender. Yan. Kailangan lang super e blend para hindi naman mukhang... And can we just talk about the struggle of having white sheets on my bed? Na kailangan sobrang dahan-dahan ako mag-makeup kasi one mistake, may stain na agad yung bed. Yung bed. May stain na agad yung bed ko. Sobrang love ko talaga na ang lightweight niya tapos ang ganda ng coverage. So yeah. So this is what one layer of the foundation looks like. Oh, I have some bug bites on my neck and let me just cover that up first. Now I'm going to set the foundation with powder. So I'm just using the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Setting. Loose setting. Hindi naman to loose, guys. So I'm just going to set my face with the Maybelline Set and Smooth Powder. So this is tried and tested. Na it doesn't clog my pores. So let's see how it works. So I'm using my Real Techniques blush brush. Super love this. It's tapered, di ba? So I'm just gonna brush that off lightly. Now I'm just going to finish the rest of my makeup and then I'll see you guys again. Okay, so it's only been a few minutes since I put um since I applied the foundation and as you can see it's already settling on my skin. As in ayan na siya. Nagki cake up na siya. So nagki cake up, nagki cake na siya sa skin ko. So I don't think I'll be wearing this the whole day as in it's still the same problem that I had when I first got it. So thank God it's not my skin. It's just the foundation. I think if you have dry skin, this wouldn't work for you. Because it's so no, sobrang kiki na siya and the clog na yung pores ko. As you can see sa nose. Ano pa lang yan, ha? Fa foundation then powder pa lang yung ina apply ko. What more if I finish my entire face? So yeah. And when I got those dry patches, it dried up somewhere here. As in both sides ng face ko dyan. Sobrang dry niya. Tapos when I apply product, sobrang nagsisting siya. I guess it really does soak up the moisture of your skin and that's why it's, I believe it's made for oilier skin types, not for dry skin unless, I don't know, it's just me that it didn't work for me. But yeah, I do have dry skin and it really didn't work for me. I mean, I gave it the benefit of the doubt and tried it again when my skin was super good and super okay. It's just that still it's not working out for me. As you can see, ayan, nagka-clog na yung pores ko. 
this is not something that I usually get when I use my other foundations na nagka-clog yung pores ko. Kasi, of course, if it clogs, I'm going to return it and get something else that works better for my skin. So, if you're looking for something that's good, medium to full coverage, lightweight, and long-wearing, I do believe that those claims are all true. It's just that I don't think that it's good for all skin types because I am dry skin and it's already kicking up on my face. It absorb, it absorbed all the moisture on my face, which resulted to dry patches. So I did return mine and I got something else which worked better. I used it the other day. I got the Makeup Forever HD. Because the reason why I got yung Rihanna because I wanted a high-end full coverage. I just have one high-end foundation and that's my Makeup Forever Water Blend. So yeah, I returned it and got the Makeup Forever HD foundation which I'll have a review soon on my channel as well. So if you liked this review and if you found it helpful, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye!